been all around the world oh, Every city, every place Animal Kingdom today. I've got my leopard print dress on, which I love. Just my standard black Mickey ears, which I think are so cool. And yeah, we're just heading into the park now. I've just got off the bus. And we're gonna meet Nat and Ben, I think. Um, we did all plan to get here for seven. We didn't quite do that. I think it's near 7.30 now, but still not bad going. And hopefully we can still get some cute pictures and stuff without it being too busy, get on some rides. And then we've got our breakfast at 9.20 at Tosca House. We're just waiting in line for a photo pass by the Tree of Life. And um, if you book through, I, well, I don't know if it's if you book from any like UK travel agent, but if you book through attraction tickets, I know that you definitely do get, um, you probably can't even hear me over this like crazy music, but you get um, Memory Maker included or photo pass, which means basically there's um, people around the parks whose jobs are to just take photos of you so they're in all of the like most iconic spots and also you get pictures from rides included in that and like yeah they're really really good um, really handy to have especially if you're a family um, where you're not always all going to be in a photo it means that you can all get in and yeah they're taken with like good cameras and stuff and um, yeah it's definitely something worth queuing up for every now and again to get a few pictures if you like me like having photos um, but yeah there's two here at the minute and the queue's going quite quick. Well, it was like oh I don't want to queue in that because it looked quite long but it's gone really really quickly. <laughs> okay someone's tired this morning aren't you? A bit grumpy tired. Looks handsome now. Fuzzy loves birdies don't you? And look what we found. Lots and lots and lots of birdies. This is so good. Ooh. I think I've definitely been very overexposed on this vlog so far. I've just looked at the settings and they were set for last night on the dark ride. So good vlog over here. But um, yeah, we're just watching the birdies. Buddy. Buzzy loves watching the birdies. I am always so hot in this park. Like Ollie doesn't think it's a thing, but Animal Kingdom is absolutely the hottest park. It's like all the moisture from all the plants and stuff. I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, we're just about to meet Nat and Ben. Oh, there's Nat and Ben over there. We're just about to meet them. Yeah. And then Buzzy's just looking at the birdies. Who's here? Who's here? <laughs> We're just in the queue now. Oh, there's bubbles everywhere. We're just in the queue now for safari. We've not done it yet this trip, so I'm so excited. I really hope Buzz. Buzz loves animals, but I feel like, you know like sometimes when they're in the distance, he might not notice they're there. So I feel like I'm gonna be the whole time going, Buzz, look, look, Buzz, over there, over there. But we'll see. Um, but I'm really excited. I love this. You call it a ride, I suppose yeah. so. I love this ride. Is it gonna be so good? Yeah. Yeah. We're nearly there. Look at his fluffy little tail. You're getting hungry for Tusker House because I am. Oh, he's happy now he's out, isn't he? Aggravated by this adventure. Expected mothers should not ride. Want to hold your safari transport? Stop and pick those back up. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, legs inside the truck at all times and remain seated throughout our entire safari today. Little ones are allowed to be seated on a lap. Just make sure they do stay seated or facing forward the entire time. We're going on the safari. All right. So the first place we are entering is called the Little Eturi Forest. So this is home to many animals. But this is good. You look sleepy. <laughs> you may go to sleep on this car journey. <laughs> There is a honeycomb structure inside their horns that allows blood to circulate through and regulate their body temperature. Very long legs. So when a zebra is first born, their legs are about the same size as an adult zebra. That's so that they can keep up with the rest of their family as they migrate. So this zebra is a little bit smaller, but still super long legs. As a group together, they are referred to as a dazzle of zebras. Whoa. And they're close to another. Where's that giraffe there? There you go. They said about the 
Okay. Giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world, going to be about 20 feet tall. So any group they're referred to <laughs> as a tower of giraffes. Go. They're running. Uh, Springbok are known for pronking, which is like a jump, but when they jump, their backs turn into an upside down U shape. They can pronk about six feet high, shoot up into the air, and leap 13 Whoa. feet forward. Sometimes you start pronking when they're eat when they're startled, so I was really hoping that we'd see them pronk, but it looks like they just kind of ran for a little bit, because they start off with a run, and then it turns into a pronk. It doesn't just randomly happen, but then they crash really, really hard when it's time for them to nap. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stay napping for quite a while. Um, on your right, you're going to see that African elephant. There's actually two of them. Um, African elephants Whoa. have very large ears, slightly Ooh. similar to the Buzzy. sheep of the continent yeah. of Africa. And then on your left, you'll see the mandrels. Mandrels are the largest monkeys in the world. red clay. So if you look further down here, they're very small and gray. That's where what baby flamingos look like. So they're, they're not really looking like flamingos yet, but they will a little bit later on. They get their pink feathers from their diet. They eat the shrimp that contains beta carotene, which turns those feathers pink. So it's exciting. Usually every year, on the other side of the hill now. Um, so they're still pretty awake at the moment. They're more um, rested and relaxed throughout the middle of the day. He's not waking up. He's not waking up. Just like you know. <laughs> She got furball. Together, they're the only cat to form groups that large, so our pride consists of the three, two females and one male. Actually not the youngest one. We also you have one that was born about two months after him. The gorillas, the meerkats, the naked mole rat, the grevy zebra, and many more. The Wildlife Express train that's going to take you over to Rafiki's Planet Watch over there. There's a petting zoo. Bloody love the safari. It's so good. We're just walking out to get Buzzy's pram or stroller. And then we're going to go to Tusca House, aren't we, baby? Yeah. We have some breakfast. He just seems so tired from the car ride. Are you hungry? Hungry. <laughs> hungry. Are you ready, kids? ready to have some jungle juice. Aye, aye, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's having magic band dramas again. All these magic band keep pinging off. I think it's where he holds Buzz. Buzz has done it to me a couple times too. Like where he like wiggles in it, just like catches the edge. I was looking to get, you can get little clips that like hold them together. I should have ordered them. Um, I think they're just on Amazon and stuff. But you have to buy like a massive pack and I don't need a massive pack, but um, it definitely would save the risk of losing our magic bands. <laughs> this is where we're having breakfast, Tusca House. And we're gonna meet this dude in his safari outfit and have this food. I, for one, can't wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know how early we are actually, if we're a bit too early, but um, I've never eaten in here before. It's all these firsts, isn't it? Donald number one. Good. The theming in Animal Kingdom, like every park I'm there and I think, oh, the theming in this park is the best park. But then when I'm in An Animal Kingdom, like it does just feel like the way they do the walls and everything, like, I feel like if in England there was a theme park, there'd be theming, but it wouldn't be like to the degree of the floors and the walls and the trees and the lighting and like the wires even, like, look at that, like, do you know what I mean? It just looks amazing. Look at this. Oh, we've got to leave it over there. Let's go have some breakfast! So we've just sat down in Tuskia House. Daisy's just about to come round. We're getting some Are we live at Disney's Animal Kingdom? Yeah, we're live. We're live. All the home viewers are having a great time. Daisy is getting ready to come see us. Mickey's around the corner. It's all happening. It's all kicking up. <laughs> that was just Neil doing his live broadcast. Yes. I've been here over 30, 30, 31 years, everyone. Oh, all the home wow. I'm going home. Let's go.
<laughs> Thank you. Look at this. Look how good that looks. That is so clever. How much fruit you've got, Buzz? Sorry, I'm just going to touch it. I wonder if it's just like normal bread or if it's like. Cake. I know. Um, it looks like cake, but I feel like maybe I think it's just like fruit. I think that's chocolate now. Like maybe like green or something. We just met Daisy and it was so cute. I know. Um, but the food has come out and it looks really good. So we've got that hot food coming in a moment, I think. But they just brought out the bread service and some fruit. And look how cool this bread is. So we've got like zebra bread. And what's that? Like cheetah, leopard print, kind of animal print, and little muffins jams and stuff, pastry, fruit, looks so good. Enjoying the fruit baby, that's there as well. So the hot food has come out and they said we can have as much of it as we want so we can keep asking. So cute. so cute. Is it? Do you want some of this on it? Buzzy's just a little fruit monster aren't you? <laughs> Oh, well, should we get you out and say hi to Mickey? We also need to meet Donald, which I'm so excited for because that was Buzz's favourite last time. I just hope he still likes him this time. You just never know with Little do you? Like, what's the matter? Are you bored? Are you bored? Look, who's that? Buzz, who's that? Who's that handsome? Where's Buzz? There he is. <gasps> <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Right, we've just finished up at Tusker House. Um, I'll talk about it later. Topolino's definitely was my favourite of the two. Can you see Ollie in the background with his Donald hat on? He's wearing Buzz's Donald hat on the top of his head. But yeah, it just wasn't like, I don't know. I liked it, it was good, but it just felt a little bit, Topolino's just felt a lot nicer, but yeah, it was still good. And the food was really cool, like the, um, the animal bread and stuff like that was really good. The juice was good. Um, but yeah, now we are heading to Carly River Rapids, which I've never done because it's always shut in February and that's the only time I've ever been. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and get soggy. But I don't think Buzz nice can- It's cool though, no. Yeah, it will be. I don't think Buzz can come on, so we'll probably have to take it in oh, turns yeah. or if that's okay, or we'll just go on without Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Yeah, let's go do that. We're filming on my phone because we're going on What's it called? Carly River Rapids, which I've never done before. And um, yeah, we're just in the little lightning lane queue bit, which isn't too long at all. I was saying to Ollie, like, I can't imagine like queuing now, which I know sounds so privileged, um, but like, I've been just with Buzz, like, he just would not be having it. Even the kind of five, 10 minutes that we queue, 
um, with Lightning Lane, he gets Aggie. So yeah, I feel like Genie Plus for us is like a no brainer, um, but he can't come on this ride. So he's just with Nat and Ben for a minute. They're gonna have a little stroll around and we're gonna go on this and then we will swap and um, have a look at booking our next Genie Plus. Nirvana teases the Jekyll, where only the foolish pretend to be kings. <laughs> Did you read that off the ceiling? The must close his mouth <laughs> if, the, uh, if the geese is to carry him. I'm surprised you can read that writing. Isn't it a bit small for you? It's quite small. Because such good my super eyes. Lens. <laughs> and we got a lot wetter than I was expecting. I did not expect to get so wet on there. Like, I feel like when you go on them, like in Thought Park and stuff, you get a little splash, but like, we got properly drenched, which is quite nice in this heat. Um, but Nat and Ben have just gone on there now. Buzz is just falling asleep in his pram, which is nice. There are two monk words, I say two. There are some monkeys behind me, I don't know how many. And they are so noisy, like they've been shouting the whole time, and like all bouncing off each other. And then Ollie keeps joining in because he loves a bit of, bit of monkeying around. And uh, yeah, we're just sitting here chilling, waiting for them. Um, we just booked um, Everest for about an hour and a half time. And in that time, I think we're gonna try and watch Kite Tales and maybe Feathered Friends, like with Feathered Friends or something like that. Both of which I want Buzz to watch, but he's, um, oh, a little duckling just went past. Um, I want Buzz to watch both of them, but he's, he needs a nap. So we'll see if he wakes up and watches them, fine. Um, I don't know if it'll be uh, have to get him out of his pram situation. If it is, maybe I'll just give those a miss because I'd rather him have a nap and then be happier later rather than like keep giving him broken sleep. So yeah, we're just having a nice chill day. Um, Tor isn't feeling too great today. She was going to be joining us, but um, she might still later if she feels up to it. But at the minute, she's just sleeping and resting. I think, which is such a shame. I feel so bad for them. They've had like such rotten luck. Um, since being married, like Nate was um, poorly for like four days, and yeah, they're due to go home in like two days, and yeah, I feel so bad for them. But hopefully, they rest up and can get out tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, we're having a really nice time. How many days have we got left? So today's Thursday. So we've only got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Not got long left, though. So I'm trying to feel at home. Welcome home. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome aboard. Oh, I love this day. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, Tusker House, I didn't really talk about it before, so we were like walking, but um, basically we were, we had Mickey over with us at one point and I feel bad because when, when you've got a little one, like the characters obviously instantly go to them and like give them attention and like take photos of them and everything like that and do the autograph books. Um, but that means that like you feel bad that the other people with you aren't getting like the same interaction so we always try and make sure that they definitely do um but mickey was over with us and he saw us and buzz and stuff and then he got taken over to another table because the family were like about to leave so he quickly went to them 
um, and they said that he would come back but he didn't and so we didn't see like Nat and Ben didn't see Mickey um, and then Donald hadn't come over by the time like we left um, but we were told that that was fine like if you leave before you see any of the characters then just get up and wait at the front and you can see them but um, when we got up and we went to the front and we said, oh, can we see Donald please? They were like, oh, go over to him and like speak to this person. So we went to spoke to his like cast member that was with him. And she she was very much like, well, you got off of your table. Like the, the rotation time is 80 minutes um, and you were only there for 40 minutes. So um, that's why you didn't get to see Donald. But we were like, oh, we were told to like get up and to go and do it and I don't know she was just very rude um how she how she dealt with it um but in the end there were two lovely cast members who helped us and sorted it out and we were able to see Donald and Mickey which is really good because Donald was Buzz's favourite before so I definitely wanted him to see him um but just at that point he was a little bit like ratty and tired but it is what it is we had a nice time the food was really good I do think Topolino though just tops it like it was so bright in there and like the interactions the characters came around like multiple times each um and the food was amazing in there. The food here was really good, um, but the interactions I just think felt a little bit rushed. And yeah, it's like darker in there. It's cool theming, but I would, if like you were trying to choose between the two, I would personally say Topolino's. Um, and I'm surprised at that because Tusker House has always been on my list of like my bucket list places to go. Um, and Topolino's I hadn't really heard of um, as much, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it there. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for the guys and go and hopefully watch some shows. We're just waiting to watch Kite Tales and we've got the Lion King version and I'm so excited. I can see Simba over there. He looks so cool and colourful. Um, but yeah, Buzz is asleep. He's just here behind me. We've got him facing so he's like not in the sun, which is good. Um, or he's just trying to grab the fan, although that breeze is good. If that breeze could carry on, although it's probably affecting the vlog, but um, yeah, they're getting all ready for it. I've not watched this before and I'm really excited. <laughs> Someone got woken up by Kite Tales. I've got a frozen banana which I've never had before. You want the first taste? Nice. Maybe daddy's is better to share. Is that good? Want some more? Nuts. So I've never had one of these before but I've heard good things. I mean they look phallic don't they but <laughs> mm. Good, I mean I was going on about wanting like a fruity ice cream but I have to have one of those after. Oh Buzzy, Buzzy, Ollie got the classic ice cream sandwich. I love them, I normally just live on them but I've not even had one yet this trip. Look at this sweaty bubba, you have some? Want some more of this one? What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Hello. Hello. Hi to all the viewers at home. This is Laura from Unhooking. I'm doing my best Neil impression. Neil, the baby. Is that him growing up? Yeah, that's Neil from Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> so we're just about to get on the train to. Is it called Rafiki's Planet? Yeah. Watch? The conservation um, station. Oh, the conservation station. <laughs> <laughs> You're someone from Yorkshire? <laughs> well, I'm not from Yorkshire. <laughs> um, I'm so 
so sweaty, it's not a joke. Um, but we're going to go and meet some animals, we're so excited. We do have a lightning lane for um, Everest in a moment, but who knows if I'm going to be brave enough for that. Train! What's going on? Ooh, beep! They don't know what South East is. Yes, piernas dentro del tren. We're here now, we just got off the train, a cute little train ride. We saw some rhinos, including a little bubble the one. Rhino. The baby rhino! And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're just going to go meet some other animals. Not eat some of their animals. See! <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure no, me! Mum, 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 mum. Meet some. Can't, can't understand these summoners coming. <laughs> Come into the like vet part, um, and it's like the little hospital. It's like an MRI scanner type thing. Look. Oh, look at the little, little Doctor Mickey over there. What's the blue one? Poison dogs. Wow. Should we go meet some animals? Look who's over here in the little petting zoo, aren't we, Baba? Should we go find some more? Lots of goats. Walk away from you. Should we go see one, baby? Mm -hmm. Say, come here, Mr. Piggy. Hi, baby. I know, they don't want to. Can't reach them, minutes. you're not tall enough, are you? Yes. Okay. Stroke him! No, you don't want to! As soon as we came in, there's some like droppings on the floor, and he tried to bend over and pick them up straight. <laughs> We have just come out for a walk. I will fill you in with what's been going on, but um, come out for a walk around another hotel. I won't film closely people, but this is a giant Coca-Cola cup. <laughs> so cool. Um, yes, this is All Star Sports. So we have just um, walked past and this is obviously one of the All Star rooms that's getting renoed. Um, so these won't look like this for much longer at all. Mad. Um, loads of people actually booked All Star Sports and have been upgraded for free to like um, French Quarter and stuff because the rooms weren't ready. I know. Yeah. So these are all being renovated as well. I like how colourful they are on the outside, don't you? So nice. And that's where we just were a moment ago, that big Coke. The theming in the values is so good. I, I still want to go to Art of Animation and see like all of their theming. Buzzy, would you like some? Look. Is it cold? I'm 
minutes. I'm currently on the bus. We're just waiting um, for the bus to leave to go to the Magic Kingdom. Um, but I didn't end up finishing yesterday's vlog. It's probably really loud because I'm right next to the fan. Um, but I didn't end up finishing yesterday's vlog because someone fell off the bed and hurt their head. And it wasn't Oli or I. And honestly, I, I've only really just been able to start to say that about crying because I felt so guilty. Buzzy, can you show your head? Where's my Buzzy? Hello, can we see it? Can we see your bum? Oh dear. Can we see? That like, doesn't look as bad actually now as it did yesterday when it first happened. When it first happened, I'll put some pictures on screen here. It came up huge and I felt horrendous and I was obviously really worried about him and things but we kept an eye on him for ages and um, didn't do what we were intending to do but like, we didn't go back out yesterday night. Um, just to let him like chill a bit we went to the pool really late and yeah he had a nice evening instead just chilling at the resort so yeah he seems completely himself um so hopefully that's that it's just his first bump um but it's horrible like when it's their first one it's so horrible but anyway that is why yesterday's vlog just kind of suddenly stopped um, so I'm going to end this here, um, like I said we are on the bus, about to go to Magic Kingdom and then I think we're going to hop over to Hollywood Studios when we're able to after 2 o'clock. So I've kind of got a combination outfit, like this is a good Magic Kingdom slash Hollywood Studios outfit. I've got my, my Sorcerer and Mickey bag, my Sorcerer and Mickey um, ears, hopefully we can meet him today, I'd love to meet Sorcerer and Mickey, so yeah. Make sure you watch that vlog if you want to see our Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios day. Um, but thank you so much for watching this one. I'm sorry it did end kind of suddenly. And I will see you very, very soon for the next one. Bye, guys.